Hey everybody, it's Scott Omato back for another Minecraft video. Hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Xbox game bar that's built into Windows 10 uh, with Minecraft, okay? With Minecraft Java in particular. I'll probably do another video on Bedrock, but uh, right now we're going to do Minecraft Java. Okay, now, and the first thing that's important, guys, is you have to have a full screen borderless window you can't use the regular full screen in minecraft uh you know this setting here that i have optifying but full screen off make sure that's off or if you're in the regular minecraft one it'll be like around here full screen off so i have a video on the channel about how to run it uh, full screen with this application called borderless minecraft all right i'll leave a link to that video in the description it's important that you do that so you can get the overlays and stuff. I want to uh, click quickly show what will happen if you don't have a borderless full screen window. You'll get this error message uh, from the game bar and it won't work. All right, so, so to access the game bar, you type Windows and G by default. That'll bring up the game bar interface. Now, you need to be sure that in your settings that you have it configured. Let, let's go and click out of that quickly. And you can type here in the search bar, game bar, Xbox game bar, and that'll give you the application. But under the settings and control panels, uh, the new control panel, you can see there's an Xbox game bar uh, setting here. So you could go into that setting and search for it, search for game uh, and game bar controller settings and an Xbox game bar. Be sure this is on if you want it, okay? And you can control it if you have a controller set up. By default, the key bind is Windows G. You could change that to something else. For that, there's your Win Alt G, Start Stop Recording, Win Alt R, all that kind of stuff. If you want to use the recording stuff, we'll, we'll set that stuff up. Right now, I want to talk about the performance monitoring part of it, all right? So if you get the uh, game bar up again, then you have this widget menu right here at the top. So this is the game bar right here. And click the widget menu and then you can show the performance. So you can toggle it on and off with here or you, you know, do the X or you could turn it on there. And then you can pin it to be over the top of the window. And when you do so, uh, your borderless window will set up now. An important setting to make is that when you're over Minecraft here, you have Minecraft open in a window, window borderless, you place in the game bar over the top of it, you go under settings, right? And you say, right now it's listing it because it says Minecraft 1.16.4 single player. But before you do that, there's a button that says, uh, this, this is a game or something like that. Recognize this is a game, something. You have to check this checkbox right here and then it'll recognize the window as a game right and then when you restart the game bar and stuff it should show your window that you have that it's a game right and so you got to have that setting before it'll recognize it now for fps i haven't set it up yet but we'll be doing it in this video to record fps you need to click this fps button right here on the performance widget at the bottom and then it'll say you need expanded user account control access to get FPS info, request access, then restart your PC for the changes to take effect. So you have to hit this request access button and then the game bar, you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. Yes. Then it'll come in and it'll request access. Okay. So I'm going to stop the video and restart and uh, hopefully everything will work and I'll be right back guys. Okay, guys, so I'm back after a restart. All right, a couple things to note uh, is that this FPS, when I first logged back in, it disappeared. All right, I couldn't even see it anymore in the list. I had to go through a bit of research to figure out that I had to do some command line arguments because I'm in Windows 10 Home Edition, not Pro Edition. So Unfortunately, the Xbox Game Bar instructions online from Microsoft are describing stuff in the computer management uh, screen that are in 
only in the pro edition they're not in home edition so you have to add yourself to the performance monitoring group in uh, the command line all right i'll bring up some screens to show that so i'm going to show you how to add yourself to the um, local performance monitor group on windows home edition all right so what you want to do is go into your search bar here and type command get a command prompt right click on it and choose run as administrator all right that window will pop open then you want to type net local group Okay, like that without any spaces net local group and then it's going to list the local group names the one you're interested in is the performance monitor users all right so you can say uh, net local group and then surrounded in quotation marks type that performance monitor users exactly as it's listed okay and close the quotation and you when you first do it you'll see that no members are listed all right and again this is on windows home that add that access button that you clicked and restarted didn't add you to the local performance monitor group performance monitor users group so you need to add yourself to that all right so again type net local group performance monitor users you could uh back up to with the uh up key uh performance monitor users and then put your account username all right you could either put the email address that you're using to log in if you're using outlook or you know a microsoft account or your username i believe you could put that too and then slash add all right slash add and then hit return now i've already done it you know i already have myself in there but uh when you do it i'll sh i'll show the screen that uh, shows you what you get so that's how you add yourself to that group and then when you do that uh, the fps uh, setting should be available you should start to see fps updating now another couple things that i noticed i reviewed the video and i can't see the game bar in obs so i've put up some screenshots uh and this would have been before this edit to show that as best I can, but I, I couldn't record it because I guess it's an overlay. But all right, so I do have the FPS working now, uh, and it's displaying there. And again, keep in mind this uh, window is pinned, so it should pretty well match up with um, no, not there with what I'm getting in uh, the screen here. So yeah, 109. Yeah, so it, it's pretty much corresponding with that. So you can monitor the FPS. All right, so let's talk about recording. Let me get away from this loud sheet. Uh, let's talk about then recording. So again, bring up your game bar window here over the top. And then under the widgets, you wanna be sure that capture is one of the widgets that you have enabled here. All right, and again, it should list the game title uh once again I, I won't be able to see this it should say your version minecraft 1.16.4 single player in the capture window and then you just need to press the capture button okay and now you should be capturing now i think obs will show this little widget here it'll show the time of my capture and then whether i'm getting the mic or not all right I, again i'm recording with obs so hopefully these don't conflict with each other uh, but it is definitely showing me the recording screen as I go through um, here. Okay, let's go ahead and stop. Okay, and again in that widget, you can show the show all captures and it'll show your captures. Okay, and so with the uh, folder button, you can browse to the folder out on your disk. It's actually your videos folder. The folder here that's videos along the side is where it captures to. Um, I have mine set up as, a, that's a library, but it's this videos folder right here under capture, and then that's where it'll be. So uh, there's the mo movie that it captured right here. Uh, so Game Bar does work with Minecraft. Uh, you just have to go through a number of hoops to jump through a bit to get it to work. 
but you can get performance monitoring and then all the social widgets and stuff may work uh, I'll maybe test those later but there's no reason why they wouldn't you just do the same kind of situation where you pin the item that you want and arrange it along the screen uh, you can set the transparency and stuff of these as well which is kind of useful uh, but I'll be looking into that to see if how it perfect affects performance and stuff like that but that's just another option in addition to something like MSI afterburner but again it's important that you have a full screen true full screen borderless window all right to do it uh, otherwise these don't come over the top of the regular minecraft full screen window so once again i have a video on how to make a full screen borderless window and uh, the link is in the description for that so guys if you benefited from this at all and it's kind of helpful if you're a windows 10 user to at least know how the stuff works even if it's not the primary tool we end up using in the end um, it there is some convenience to it uh, but anyway, leave a like, uh, consider subscribing to the channel for more Minecraft videos. This is Scott Omato. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.